Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for the 25th through to the 28th of January 2013. A very large coronal hole formation is rotating through the earth facing position and should become geo effective in the coming days and should represent a potential for a 7 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We now look in the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info where we see a very strong coronal hole formation located in the southern hemisphere of the solar corona and it is covering a large region, CH550, which is a negative polarity coronal hole formation, has changed shape quite drastically over the last 24 hours and taking more of a lateral appearance during that time frame. Now I'm expecting at least one strong earthquake embedded in this coronal hole formation towards a rear flank or in the central portion of this large region. We're now looking at this very large coronal hole formation on the solar corona with the SDO composite moving imagery and focusing on a central node point within this coronal hole which has uplifted on the solar corona and also a very strong filament eruption that occurred which produced a solar tsunami and a very strong coronal mass ejection leaving the sun. Now this extremely large coronal hole formation has a very strong area of upliftment which I am concerned with and this is usually associated with earthquakes over 7 magnitude. We're now looking at the 304 angstrom moving imagery where we see two strong areas of ejector leaving the solar corona. The first being behind this coronal hole formation or trailing and also one within the bottom portion of this coronal hole. Now these are very strong areas of ejector leaving the sun which may be a concern as this coronal hole formation will be in an earth facing position over the next 24 to 48 hours. We're now going to use solar monitors angstrom imagery focusing on this very strong coronal hole formation and an area contained within this coronal hole formation, an active node point or an area of upliftment which has caught my attention. Using the 171 and 211 angstrom we see a very strong feature within this coronal hole formation. Now these have been attributed to strong earthquakes in the past which have produced over 7 magnitude events which is a concern. Now we do see an area behind this area of upliftment within this coronal hole which is also developed and this may be indicative of an echo of a very strong earthquake or a series of earthquakes within this coronal hole formation over the next 3 to 4 days. We're now having an even closer look at this large coronal hole formation with the SDO's 193 angstrom moving imagery where we see a strong area of movement over the last 24 hours and even a rear portion of this coronal hole formation which has also opened up quite drastically. Now the main dates of focus will be January 25 and 26 and the rear portion of this coronal hole formation may even be another earthquake potential for January 27 as well. We're now looking at the latest WSA Enlil Solar Wind Prediction Animation and from this service we see the arrival from this service of the very large coronal hole formations high speed solar wind stream buffeting the Earth's magnetic field sometime on the 27th of January. Now this impact should be quite strong and it should be long lasting due to the size of this coronal hole formation. We should see solar wind speed spike over 500 km a second and we also should see a density spike to around 25 protons per cubic centimetre. I'm now going to plot and map this large coronal hole formation to the Earth with solar symmetry using solar monitors 193 and 211 angstrom. Now I have focus on the initial part of this watch, January 25 and 26. An area of 40 to 43 degrees south latitude as a main area of concern. And the following day we have January 26 into 27, another area slightly further south. This is 42 to 45 degrees south latitude. My number one area of concern for this watch is for South America, specifically the regions of Chubut, Argentina, Los Lagos in Chile, and also further south if this earthquake would occur towards the end of this watch would be for Ace in Chile. As well as South America having strong solar symmetry regarding this large coronal hole formation, this can also be said for the New Zealand region. Now I do feel that the main area of focus in regards to this possible large earthquake would be the Cook Strait region in between both islands of New Zealand for a possible 7 magnitude earthquake. Now I do feel a Christchurch would also be at risk for a strong event but I do feel it will be capped to only 6 magnitude but still 6 magnitude for the region would be quite significant. And my final area of concern is for the Alpine Fault or off the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand for this very large possible 7 magnitude earthquake. Now I do feel like there is one other region that may be at risk and that's the Prince Edward Islands region and that's just south of Africa. We have seen a lot of filaments erupting off the solar corona over the last two to three days, sending out coronal mass ejections in all directions outward from the sun. 
One of these coronal mass ejections is actually headed Earth's way, travelling at 600 kilometres a second. A CME released on the 23rd of January is expected to impact the Earth, or they deliver a fairly weak impact on January 26. The last 24 hours of Proton data has shown two significant spikes registered on this particular service, which is an indication of a strong earthquake potential for the coming days. And also the Australian Pulsation PC3 index has also reflected two strong spikes, which is a concern. And this is a good indicator of a strong earthquake potential over 6.5 magnitude, possibly up towards 7 magnitude for this watch. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 24th of January. 2013. For more information, please visit solarwatcher.net where there will be more content for members and subscribers. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.